All right, new expedition loading. I'm excited, actually. I'm really excited. Oh boy. Oh, as always, my mouse is uh, way too crazy. Sensitivity. Still quite fast. Holy shit. Is it in... Is it a different one? No, it should be this one. Okay. This will do. Alright. I am... I don't look human. First of all. Oh. Can I crouch? No. Oh my god, that was fast. Jump, hold and release. Okay. Roast Marshmallow? <gasps> Wait, what the f*** is that guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I burned it. Did I? I think I... I think I had to do this. Oh, yes. How's it looking? Nice and charred. Can I have another one? Okay, let me try again. This is very important, guys. Okay, I think this is now... This is doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. How do I know if it's cooked? I never cooked a marshmallow. Oh, it's burning. <laughs> God damn it. I can eat that. Right? Was that good? I don't know if it was good or not. I mean, my character kind of went, Bleh, so I'm not sure. I, I have no idea. My boy, hello, Slate. Hello, Slate. There's a pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly, here you are, living on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all filled up and ready to go. Um, you sure you fix your retro rockets? I mean... That was only a problem one time. And then maybe a few times after that, but hey... No reason to, to dwell on the past, right? Well... Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've uh, said your goodbyes or whatever. Alright. Requires launch code. Wait, is this a ship? Oh. I guess it is. What a weird... Huh. Can I... Can I super jump? No. Okay, good. What the hell? I guess I'm gonna have to go this way, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Alright. Where are we? Uh, madam? Porphy. Hey, Porphy. Hey, old hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, 
Let's see me and Gossan open up a bottle of the good stuff. Yeah, I like the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure among one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thank you, Porphy. What the... What a weird... Oh! Oh, that's a moon. That, that's... The cycle of the sun and moon is very, very fast. The rutile. We're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Well, they really don't explode as often anymore, so we should be fine. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Yeah? You should be fine. Hello? Can you please be quiet? Thank you. Your satellite camera. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, uh, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Right. So, uh, he didn't really succeed, did he? I mean... These people look like they barely had the technology to go camping, let alone going to space, but... Podcast from Orbit. This projector is linked to a Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timberheart. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. I think I broke it, guys. I think, <laughs> I think I broke the satellite. Alright, there's a village. I'll leave it at that. Yo, Marl! So it's launch day, huh? Hell's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So, especially the less flammable part. That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind having out the space program. Just say the word. The current one is fine, thanks. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. Wait, the launch pad is flammable? <laughs> ha! You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Oh boy. I'm dead. Knock knock. Alright. Hello? Gnace? Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you live in the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Uh, why don't I have an instrument? Tell me about the other travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, there's Rebeck banjo, and Gabro's flute. Gabro. And Felsworth's harmonica, of course. Though Felsworth's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, 
You hear music in space, that'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Alright. It's pronounced nice. Nice. Good lord. It's a type of rock. Huh, okay. First time I hear about it. Whee! <laughs> no! Okay. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Ah, here we go. Um... Ooh, fuck! I'm dead, aren't I? I am so dead. Uh, uh. Jesus Christ! What's happening over there? I am dead. I lost the game. Quick indeed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm getting oh I'm getting credited as well. <laughs> That's it, guys. So that was out of wilds. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back uh, tomorrow for something else, I guess. Ah yes, end the stream. End the stream. Thank you, thank you guys. I'll see you around. No, come on, we can't do that. I think I broke the freaking... No, I didn't. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Why is that, by the way? Is that a satellite? Or is that a satellite? Who knows? A person? One possesses the launch codes, should be up to the observatory, like usual. I decided to think they, they live there. How's the ship looking? Great! You might get a kick out of this. I've repurposed a spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Is that safe? Probably. Okay, not what you want to hear. How safe would you say this thing is? Oh, it's a perfect 10, unless you factor in pilot error, in which case it's about a 4. No offense. Oh. What's my mission? You're the pilot, you tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore? Yeah, I guess. It doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow, or just to the other side of Timberheart. It's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Out of a hundred? Out of a thousand, I think. Just don't hurt the ship, that's all I ask. What should I do before liftoff? If anything good buys to say, you better say them now. I think your friend Hall is in the observatory. Oh, and Gosson say they have a zero-g chamber set up if you want to refresh it or making ships repairs in space. I say you have to, but uh, it would help. Get Gosson off my back if it did. Alright. I'm gonna die in space. Hey man. Hey, it's you. Slate said you'd be blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Yeah, I'm still going, Jesus Christ. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. You really, really want to see it. Okay. Really bad. Okay, calm down. Hey, you want to try out my mothership? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Boy, um... <gasps> uh... Down, up, thrust, left, control, left, shift. Ah! Oh, 
Oh, whoops. 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 Um, I got this. I got this, guys. I got this. See? I told you. Here we go! To the moon! Oh my god, we're actually going to the moon. Goodbye! Alright. Thank you, Micah. Promising start, yeah. I hope that's not how you actually pilot your ship, because, um... Yeah, I'm gonna crash. Just to be sure, I'm gonna talk to everybody again. Are you going to watch the lunch? Of course! I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly uh, to make sure nothing catches fire, but watching nonetheless... Okay. Whoops. Do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? Only constantly. You learn to live with it. Uh, you also learn to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed just in case. Okay then. As I don't like this. Do I have to go into space? That tree has, uh, has got it coming. If you swing by the moon, say hi to Esker for me. Wait, somebody living on the moon? If you need something, uh, I'm good. Sorry, I'm good. Alright, now instead of killing myself in the geyser, I'm going to go... The observatory. Hey guys, Tefra and Galena. How are you guys doing? Hello, astronaut. Well, if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play the hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow the signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll never let you be it? No. Can't today. I need that for space. Oh, really? Well, we can't play without signal scope. Play with us later, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey, Galena. She doesn't talk. Okay. Yo, Spinal! up my man fishing grime fishing rhyme so he helps me pass the time you live in the crater guess we'll be a little busy without you around to lend a hand that big water planet giants deep that's where I go why is that what do you think one time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire Gabro told me about the first trip to giants deep they landed their ship easily enough in the waves. I couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabriel wants to see what lay beneath the surface, but they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. And suddenly, Gabriel couldn't go any further. The Agence Deep has a current you can't pass through. Sure, okay. Well, shut up a minute. This is the good part. Okay, sorry. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Is that all true? But if on Gabro himself, 
Gamma can be a little fanciful, sure. But oh, they're a liar. I mean, probably anyway. I guess if you want to know if the story is entirely true, you can go see Gen for yourself. I guess we will go and do that. Although a world made of ice. Also show that. Holy shit, that is loud. <laughs> I thought it was voice acting, but since there's no voice acting, we can probably tune down the volumes a little bit. Hey, Arcos. Hi, astronaut. Hello. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. All right. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. <laughs> yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Don't walk it in any space, okay? It sounds bad and painful. Yeah, I'll try to. Is that ghost matter? <gasps> okay, let's not touch that ever again. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. I can see that, though. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. To complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfell. Okay, let me see it through the camera. Oh, I see. You already found another game over screen. <laughs> nah, we're good, we're good. The game is too quiet now, can barely hear the music. Uh, since I lower the master setting, I can actually uh, get the music a little bit higher. I mean, the music is really nice and peaceful now. I saw smoke coming from Yongbok Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use a scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tektite. The other balance is trash. I always like to have as many separate sliders as possible. But it's definitely um, harder when you're streaming. North, Yongbok Crater. Northwest, Geyser Mountains. South Quantum Grove Crater. Alright. Is that my ship? East. No my ruins. What's this? Scout launcher. I want to see the quantum thing. Is it this way? Is that the quantum crater? Ooh, okay. Nice. This is the ruins, huh? Okay. Launch! I don't see the ruins. Oh, wait! Wait! Yeah, no, here they, here they are. Ooh. Ooh. I'm in the ruins now. Alright, this is uh, that's pretty neat. Don't know if I'm gonna need it in the future, though. Whoa, okay. What's over here? Oh, who's over here? Who's this guy? Oh, Moraine, what are you doing? Hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you doing? I'm using my signoscope to pick up sound from distant planets. It's set to other wilds venture frequencies so I can pick up the traveler's music. Last night I heard Rebex banjo coming from Bristol Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signoscopes are cool. 
Yeah. Can I see? Why? Getting further away from us. Oh, there's something over. I guess that's a banjo. It's only 20 kilometers away, it's not that far. 291, this is very close. It's a harmonica. Wait. Wasn't that guy supposed to be in space or something? Wait. That's the same harmonica. Only this time it's almost 20 kilometers away. Weird. It's in a small device. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, that moon is 700 meters away. <laughs> so, yeah, probably not a very... Uh... A very big galaxy. Pretty cool, though. I like this. Okay, that's the guy with the drums. This is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's uh Zero G cave. Oh, this is where we need to go. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training to set up if you want a refresher. I need that, I think. Hey buddy, Gosson? Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, considering everybody told me it's highly flammable and I'm probably not going to come back. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new critter in the moon. Oh boy. Still, I was never as green as you. Yeah, thank you. I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't, as long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. Well, one repair satellite coming up, as <laughs> I am definitely not confident. Cool, get to it. Time to concuss yourself before the launch. Right. Let's go to the Zero-G cave. That's kind of pretty. It's rock, but it looks like we're in space. All right. Ooh, wee! What is this? Pickaxes. Zero G cave. Zero G cave. All right. All right. Suit up. Cool. Uh, rosters. Hey, buddy. Hey, tough. Hey, hey. Nice of you to drop down. Yeah, I'm getting some zero G time in here. Just, just training. So you're going in there, in the cave. <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great, great. I'm fine. Uh, you don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <laughs> now I got hand sweat. God damn it. I don't, I don't know. Why do you hate that cave? What happened? 
Give me the dirt. The fresh dirt? Not much happening down in here lately. Let me think. Got to think of it. Tectite who saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's a new and different. That's new and different. Alright, how about that? Yeah. They're on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tectite once. Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. Oh. So it was a lie? It was all a lie. Zero G cave, zero G cave. Um. Right, was the mining equipment? Can't be that one, right? Okay, I think I see it. Careful. Careful. Wait, there was a joke in there? Oh boy, yeah, it definitely went over my head. Yo! I don't know about this one, guys. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, how do I rotate? Well, it's whatever it's working. Good lord. Hold. Oh, oh alright, yeah. Oh, that's one much further. Alright. What was the final one? Probably the other side. Um, or not? What the hell? Where am I going? Is this broken? My fuel is going down and I can't find the final broken part. Is it inside? Ah, there it is. How do I stop myself? I want to stop. There you go. <laughs> Just break a pace yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Okay, I need to get out now. Is that out? God damn. Alright, we're good. I need to, uh, yeah, put this back. Oh boy, what an experience, huh? More zero G shenanigans. Because I do love my six dolph, as we established yesterday and the day before that. Ah. Uh. I need my gravity, you know. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Thank you. I No promises. But I'll try my best.
Where is the observatory? I think I saw it somewhere, but I don't... It's over there. How do I get there? I mean, this place is really chill. I like it. Why is this? Oh yeah, that's a bridge. I was about to say what? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I was about to say why is that? That looks like water, but also, kind of not. Here we go. Let's pray to the god of my people. Hornfels. Gossen. Felspar. Esker. Slate. Wait. Do we have a missing one? Or is Esker the uh, the author? I don't know. Otherwise, venture funding members. Clockwise from top left. Hornsfels, Gossen, Slate, and Felspar. So what's Esker? Big thanks to these additional founding members of the Wild Lancer without whom we would have never gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington, Where do you up the pie? Is this like Beckers? Kicks out the Beckers? Yeah. The Wild's Ventures. Timber Heart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Felsfar was the first Hearthian to intentionally to be intentionally launched into space. What do you mean intentionally? Have there been unintentional space launches before? They completed the first orbit around Timber's heart and late made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. The At Adelrock. Adelrock. Hey how? I think we. I needed to talk to you. Oh wait, is this the observatory? Was there a side entry? Hang on a second. Launch tower. Oh yeah, this is the observatory. What is this though? Look at this. Three-eyed goat. Is this our god? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with layers of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the system, we still have no idea where the species come from or what happened to them. Man, the code people. Hey, how? Hey, hey! It's my favorite astronaut! Launch day is at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool inaugural flight too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Wait, the translator tools? Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh jeez, do not break it, okay. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Oh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchling, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? There's a new statue. You haven't heard? Gabra brought it back from the Giant's Deep. And Horford's just finished prepping it for display. This is right... Oh, this is right here. Oh, is this one? Niha, yeah. Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll, as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. No, you're weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? Alright, how? Where did the statue come from? We know it's from uh, the water planet. Why did they make the statue? Good question. So Gabro found this fully intact statue on Giant's Deep, right? Well, Holmfus told me it's made from the same type of special stone as the statue fragment Chert brought back from the Hourglass Twins. We know the stone from Chert fragments can store information. That's why some of the stone from that statue fragment was repurposed for your ship's computer. What? Maybe the statue were made for storing information too? Whoa. 
That's very interesting. Stone that stores information. What is this? Wait, what? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering the unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from central point. Interestingly, each branch tend to be written by a different author. Kasava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Atal Rock Atal Rock lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our research. That is actually really cool. Did that appear? Is this okay? That's neat. Aside from the dwelling structures they built, the Noah also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. So mentioned Noah art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial object, another subject that can be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether Noah originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imagination. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among the stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xenoarchaeological expeditions. I mean, they could have had just imaginations, you know. If an alien came here and saw all our, like, sci-fi movies or horror movies, they would think, oh, are, the, are these things real? Imagine like finding a fragment of a movie in a distant future and not knowing if it was real or not. Parts of Nomai skeleton, we can tell from the skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living on land. Mm, shocking fracture bone structure shows the heart is kind of descended. Okay, so we are not. Um, no, my descendants. It's not clear where they originated from. We have to find more clues. To be fair, aliens could currently watch our news and struggle to tell if it's real. <laughs> true, true. This crystal was taken from the Nomai ruin in Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. <gasps> Whoa! Okay then. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. That's some ruins. Where's that? Anglerfish. Wait, that's still alive. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Oh boy, I don't like that. Ah yes. The infamous no by balls. Since they have three eyes, they also have three balls. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think caused the spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the atom, locks, the atom rock gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Are they moving? Yeah? Yeah, very slowly. So this is our solar system, huh? Which one are we on? Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of our hydrogen and starts to contract. Oh no, wait. This is uh This is what's going to happen to our sun, right? It's going to go into a uh, red giant and then neutrino star or something like that. No, I got it wrong. Something like that. I don't remember. As the star core as the star's core contracts, it gets hot, hotter, 
causing the other layer to expand. The star had become a red giant. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen to the sun. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements, elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode into a violent event called supernova. I don't think our sun is gonna go supernova, though. But it's a short observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. I remember reading somewhere that our sun is just gonna do something different. It's probably gonna collapse, swallow the solar system or something. And then who knows? Our sun is not massive enough to go supernova. Yeah, I think so. Hang on a second, that moved. That was right there. What the fuck? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbers claim the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. It's a quantum rock. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. It is, and it's also very cool, though. Huh. 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 Hi. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Whoa, okay, this is our solar system. One first observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars. But they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I... I think I need to sit down. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculation, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away the galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? I mean, yeah. Probably. Uh, Hornfels. Hang on, let me see. View map. Okay, this is way cooler than I expected. Okay, so... This is the big sun. The closest planet or planets are the Hourglass Twins. The Ember Twin and the Ash Twin. Oh, that's really cool. Twin planets like orbiting each other. That is, that is really cool. There's uh, what is that? Is that collecting energy from the sun? Like a, um, like a tiny piece of a Dyson sphere. So we are the second planet from the sun, and we have the Atar rock as moon. Okay. Then the third one is the Brittle Hollow, with a couple of moons. The Hollow's Lantern, which is like a super fiery moon. And then there's something down there, much, much darker. Huh. That's pretty cool. And then we have the really big one. The, the water planet, the Giant's Deep. With... What is that? An asteroid belt? What is that? No, those are satellites. 
maybe. Or ruins? I don't know. And then we have the Dark Bramble, which is... what the hell? It's like a planet scrambled around the core with roots and like pieces of land poking out of every root. That is a really cool one. Is there something further off? What is that? Oh, there definitely is something out there. But it's too far from the sun, so it's actually not orbiting our sun. It's not orbiting anything if it's just hanging out in space, I guess. I always wondered about that. Are there, like, planets that are not part of a solar system just hanging around at the same place in space all the time? That is something I actually never uh, heard of. But, like, the have to be I cannot believe there's not like a ginormous rock maybe it's not a planet but like a planet sized asteroid just hanging around in space not going anywhere really I'll look that up wait we need to talk to that guy <laughs> I was just leaving <laughs> I thought that was cool. <laughs> Let's go. No, we need the... We need the uh... What do we need? There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations. And local conditions are good. Time to get the newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator tool. I confess. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Thank you. Tell me, what is your plan once you're in space? Uh, I want... I think I'll start with something small, yeah. You prefer to ease into things. That's a sensible plan. More sensible than most of our astronauts tend to be. And that's a fact. Do you think you'll go to the other rock then? A moon would be a safe place to travel to and get your bearings in space. And I'm sure Esker will appreciate the visit. Plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai ruins on the moon are. Or why they were built. You can put your new translator tool through its paces. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for lunch. Alright, I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before launch? At any rate, <laughs> here are the launch codes. Trying to worry too much. Our ships are very... Are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. I... Uh, I don't... Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay, I'm good. Wait, no, I want to know more about Feldspar. Well, the four founding members, along with our flight coach Gossen, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossen did. I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared him. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly. But they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Feldspar went. Or wh even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Oh, damn. Okay, guys. We have the launch codes. It's time. To go and crash into the moon. As my very first mission. Um. Uh, hi. Oh boy. That's not good. That is sending me back in time. No, that just absorbed everything I did today. Yeah. Yeah, okay.
<laughs> rude, right? How did I? How do I? Um. Do I have a button to get the translator tool out? I guess not. Yo! Hey, hey! So, did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? Look, the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? That's no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? <laughs> like, medically speaking? No, the statue is definitely weird. Look, it's not me, okay? I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? All of us tried everything to get the statue's eye to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answer from the museum statue. But Gabro said they're go they were going back to Giants Deep. I don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you're better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, see if we can use our translator tool to find more about the statue, okay? Alright. Good luck and safe flying. Alright, Hal, I'll see you soon. I guess. Was a ship? I'm not gonna. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not gonna die right now. I feel like I need to save, but I don't think I can. Are you going into space and never coming back like Felspar? That's disturbing. But Hornfus says no one knows what happened to Felsbar. Hornfus says they got lost in space even though they were the best pilots ever. You're not as good as Felsbar. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> Gonna punch you in all of your eyes. So you should be really careful not to get lost. Screw you, Tefra. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll even find Felsbar. How about that? Okay, before we go, I'm gonna roast a marshmallow. And uh, eat that. Is that good? Is that roasted? Okay, I didn't yuck, so uh, I think that was good. Good, good. Uh, I want to go away now. Ice late. Ready to take off. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on a new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot avoidance system for this one. Wait, you couldn't have done that for my ship? Ah, uh, sorry. You don't know what a roasted marshmallow is, huh? No, we really don't have marshmallows here. So, uh... I mean, I don't even know how to do it. All I know is from... Is that roasted? All I know is that... What, I, what I've seen in TV shows. I think this is burnt now. Time for me to go. <laughs> it's time to go, guys. No marshmallow at all? I mean, I don't know. We, I, ca I can't probably buy those mushy candies, but I don't think they are actual marshmallows. Some skips? Let me see. Yeah, we lost some frames. Oh, interesting. I don't know why. The bitrate is good. CPU usage is very low. I mean, I'm standing still now. The screen is 
frozen and I'm still skipping frames for some reason. I think it's not really me. Oh boy. Well guys. Where's the moon? That's the moon. All right. Uh, what the? Okay, then. Oxygen refill. Spot the tree, walk towards it, and enjoy. Okay. You ship log. We have ropes, we have bottles, we have a crystal. A gravity crystal. We have a planetary chart. All right, all right. The interloper. What? The interloper. Esker camp. Sounds like Esker is still stationed at the Atal Rock. They've been here by themselves for a while. Lunar ruins. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere. No one knows what they are or what they're built. It's freezing a lot now. I wonder if it's loading stuff in the background. It's way worse now that you checked. What the fuck? Oh, wait. My internet was borking. I saw that now. Oh, no. It's doing it again, guys. No, no, no. It's my, uh, it's my internet. I can see the... Yeah, we're dropping a shit ton of speed. I don't know why. I mean, last time it happened, it kind of fixed itself after a while. But it kind of sucks that now that we're playing like a really good game, it's happening. Windows loading an update? It shouldn't. Um, I mean, let's pause. You could go into Resmon and check what's using your network. What's Resmon? Seems a little bit more stable now. Resource monitor, just Windows key R. Then enter Resmon. Uh, network, I guess. Network activity. Uh, I did. I barely know how to read this. Like, I don't really have anything going on other than OBS. Can I organize this by total? I mean, the only one doing anything looks like it's OBS. Everything else is like way, way low on uh, bits per second. I think it's just my internet, guys. It looks f fine now. It looks better, so... Let's get back into the game and let me know how it goes. Uh, 
Oh, what is this? Gabra. How says Gabra went back to Giant's Deep? I came at the very center of Timber Heart. So she repaired another satellite. Village. Know my statue. Looked at me. Hal says the statue has never opened its size before. Let's go camp. In the ruins. Alright. Okay. Cool. Buckle up. Hang on. Suit up. Should I suit up before uh I mean I don't know. Do you suit up? I think you do. Oh boy. Um Alright, that's pretty close. I'm not sure that I suit is space ready. <laughs> mm. I mean... The ship looks space ready? No, nothing looks space ready. Alright, guys. Three, two, one. Lift off. Okay, slow down, slow down, landing mode. The fuck? Did I? I can't see where I am. I think I bounced off the moon. Hang on, he hello? The frick? What's the sun? It's really dark, I can't see. We've done it, boys. <laughs> It only took me like what an hour or two. Yeah, it's fine. I I'm struggling here too. Oh god! Oh no! No no no! Hang on! Go back! <laughs> Go back! I don't know what that means. What the? No! <laughs> don't get the scout out! Fuck's sake! Put away! Oh! I don't know how to put it away! It's behind my chat! Hang on! I need to move my chat! Q! Alright, where's the freaking. <coughs> Got the skips again? Was it fine so far? Yeah, I can see now the. Network is doing it. Let me um let me check it now. I mean I literally have nothing uh going in parallel with OBS. What's, uh, hang on, what is that? What's AVP? Is that like a system process? Is that an antivirus doing something? No, my antivirus is standing still. I don't know. Antivirus? Wait, I don't. I don't have AVP. Is that an uh, an actual brand of antivirus? I 
I don't know. I mean, I have other problems now. I'm trying to figure out how to freaking land here. Or oh, it's alien versus predator. Fair enough. That could be it. Can I land in here? There's somebody. Alright, alright. Am I good here? I think I'm good. Yeah. Association of Volleyball Professionals. I don't think I have that running on my PC. Yo, Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? Well, the lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro. I've heard many people now say that Gabro is Gabro, and I... I'm kind of scared of Gabor now. And you know how Rebeck feels about unnecessary space flights. Don't go. I mean, uh, uh, anything else you wanted to ask? I'm going to give you a tip to save you some annoyance. Give it the signal scope to identify signal. You have to get it right next to the signal to identify it. All right. You seem, uh, seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfels and Gossen mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground controls forget some up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. Wait, they forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's also bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Not alone in our village. Uh, what, what was what was about you whistling? Was that you whistling even? Probably or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. They can pick up their music with a signal scope. You know, best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your minimap, but the Atalok, Atarok is pretty small moon. Really, just go north. You can't miss it. What is this? Very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? It's just depressing. Ah. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when we first started the Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space ferrying technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like more than they do now. This is the Outpost cut down on the number of launches and landing taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from Timberheart and keeping an eye on things. Alright. Mal says hi. Heh. Mal is probably the only one who remembers I'm up here. I should go see the big log soon. Don't tell me about this, but sometimes I throw my little scout down to make sure Mal isn't doing anything stupid. I worried that big tree in the village wouldn't stand a chance otherwise. Don't worry, I already told him off about that. So, unidentified signal nearby. Esker. Alright, I think that's, uh, that's done, right? Jet our fuel. All right. So, uh, I mean, 
Am I in a crater? I think I am. Okay. Man, the sun looks freaking scary, huh? What the freak is that? Wait, is that our planet? Jesus, that looks so spooky. Also, it's getting really dark in this side of the moon. I don't like it. What are the ruins, by the way? I thought it was... Hmm. I could just walk north and get to the Po, I guess. Oh, there's something over there. <gasps> oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Careful now. Let's go Signoscope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rebex Banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but it'll feel better once I can hear the music. Day 51. Listen to Chirp playing for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Gosson that flirting is not suitable for an aerial perspective. What are you spying on people for? Banjo music coming from in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rebex doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timberheart. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberheart sounds exactly like Feldspar harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. See, I told you guys that was the harmonica. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal score is broken? I better talk to... Nice. Okay, so the drum guy is there. That guy is uh, in that planet. Wait, was that the harmonica? That's a weird thing that we saw. That's the banjo. What the hell is that thing? What the freak is happening over there? I think something just exploded in space. That's fine. Okay, weird noise coming from uh, there. That's that one. Yeah, see, the harmonica is coming from our planet. Let's ask her. So weird. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right. Oh, I think I found the ruins. Okay, care. care. Careful, careful. Wait, are these the ruins? Hang on. Hang no, 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 no. Hang on a second. This looks like... Um... These looks like the crystal I saw next to the ghost thingy. Maybe I shouldn't be here, huh? Just a bunch of really weird crystals. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Jesus. 
Oh my god, the views in this game are absolutely amazing. There, I found something. Okay, we're going the right direction. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Um, what do you mean? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where do I find oxygen? A tree, it said. What's a tree? I guess if I go to the ship, um. There's trees. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Cool. Now let's go back. I think those were the ruins. Somewhere down here. There we go. Okay then. Oh, there's something here. am I doing? Oh, I'm aligning the holes. I mean for the sun. Okay. Very cool. Trees. <gasps> All right. <sighs> nice. What is that? A scroll. A recording. All right, let's play the recording. Okay. Wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, uh, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of know my locator. You can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep. Just gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Let's get this one translated then. Collius. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. What's the eye? I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Private, my apprentice, and I will make adjustment to try again. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. 
An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Hmm. It sends me to posit this, my friends. But I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Oh. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. A search for the Eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Damn. They're looking for something called the Eye of the Universe. Okay, let's take this one. Hang on. Oh! You can insert this here. That's already holding a scroll. Wait. Can I remove this then and read the other one? Oh, I can. Oh, wait a second. So, this is a, a board, a scroll reader. So, if I insert this. Ah, oh yes, here we go. Thatch! Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. I know that those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build it there. I mentioned our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. Bloom. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Alright, so we know where the next um, part is. Very interesting. So can we quickly, quickly check these um, these icons? What is that? Is that the eye of the universe? That's the sun. That looks like the giant. I don't know what that is. Okay, so where's the ball now? The ball is here, so that is pointing at the sun. So that planet... Let's see. That is pointing at the giant one. Alright, as expected. Now this... It's gonna be the hollow, the brittle hollow, because look. It looks brittle, but it looks still intact. It's probably gonna be broken now. It's behind the sun at the moment, but I'm, I'm sure we'll... Uh, We'll see it as soon as it... Oops. Uh, actually, I don't know about this. Is it ever gonna show it? I mean, maybe, slowly. I would guess it's brutal hollow. Oh my god. It's taking forever. I need to know for sure though. Because in, in case we see these symbols anywhere else, we need to know. Why is that? Is that the giant's one? No, that's there. The hell? Wait, it disappeared. What the? F okay then. What the hell? It's almost there, guys. Almost there. We should be seeing it. Any time now.
Wait, what is that? Can I check my map? It's not Brittle Hollow, is it? At least I don't think it is. There's a banjo coming from him. So it's banjo plant, whatever that is. We'll check later. So I guess this was supposed to be the eye of the universe, but it just doesn't work. Yeah, I know, look. They're all scrambled. The trine. But they don't actually know what to do. It goes just crazy. Alright, let's put it there. Okay, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, I need to refill my oh, oxygen before going back. I don't have that much. Jeez, I don't have that much. Okay, here we go. You know, just to be on the safe side. So, I'm gonna guess this was the only ruin on uh, on the moon. <gasps> Yo! What the... Uh, was that the sun? That is the sun going supernova, isn't it? This is the scariest shit I have ever seen in my life. Game is taking a snapshot of everything you do. It really is. Also, I think it just kept all my knowledge of everything. Hold up, you're going to want the launch codes. I already got them, remember? Huh. Must be nearly more fumes than I realized. This stuff is potent. If you got the codes, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Oh god. I think we went back in time. But we kept all the knowledge. Let me see. There's, there's one way to know for sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh... Holy shit. Holy shit, this is such a cool concept. Uh... Right. So now what? Holy crap. Where's the moon? What the hell is the moon? Wait, no, buckle up. Free roll, okay. Left all free, look. Oh god. I don't. I still have no idea how to pilot that. What the frick is that? Is this the satellite? It probably is. Wait, is this the moon? Athelrock, yeah, here we go. Alright, so hang on a second. Okay, so we know that's, uh... That's Esker. So what is this then? Ow. Hmm. 
Am I good here? Man, can you imagine seeing that, like, happening for real? Like, looking up at the sky, it all goes dark, and then all of a sudden you see your sun actually exploding and engulfing the entire solar system. That must be the scariest, like, insane experience. I think I had a dream, well, a nightmare, I guess, once about that. Maybe that's why I, th I find it so scary. I was terrified. I remember being absolutely terrified by that dream. I remember I was like by the sea. And all of a sudden I like heard an explosion, we all looked up and we saw like the sun going like fracturing itself. And then like all of a sudden like everything went absolutely insane. Um, I remember seeing like the water slowly drifting up in the sky. I mean yeah that will happen eventually. Just research note, property of chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. A positive atalog was hit by a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the on the other astral bodies in the solar system? I mean maybe. These are the crystals, huh? Like, completely crystal clear, transparent. These are really cool. Hang on, so which one was the planet that we were looking at? Uh, where's my... Is it in here? So maybe I was looking at Brittle Hollow, but the one at the far back with all the roots is Dark Bramble. So yeah, Brittle Hollow was the one. What if there will be life on Earth when the sun turns into a red giant? I think it's like millions of years in the future, so... I would guess by that time humans would probably have colonized other planets. Billions, even? Yeah. Yeah, not in... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think. Oh, look at that. I can see the inside of Earth. I mean, to be fair, at the rate we're fucking up the planet right now, I would definitely think that in... Uh, <laughs> in like 200 years we need to find a new... <laughs> place to live brittle hollow that's the one so wait do I need to point over there We went so freaking, oh my god, the speed, help, no, don't launch that, fuck, engage autopilot, stage one, align trajectory, I don't know what that means, that's the trajectory, no, that's hollow lantern, autopilot, accelerating towards destination, okay. That's actually very useful. Firing retro rockets. Yes. What 
profile complete. All right. Slowly now, slowly. Ow. Exit shift to repair hull damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Broke my ship. Is something that you keyboard? So the symbols are different. I think it's um, right alt plus shift to switch the languages if you accidentally switched one of them. What happened to the ship? Why is it broken? It doesn't look broken to me. Is the gravity insane in this planet? Why can I not? Okay, here we go. I mean, I can't see hull repair. Hey, wait, 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 wait. This one, huh? Done. Easy. I'm a little baffled when we do get it's a good idea to use that key combination for things. I'm sure that apparently none of the team members have anything in multi language on their PC. No, no. I wish I could disable. I feel like there's a. Crazy gravitational pull on this planet. There it is. This is the one I wanted to visit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Something exploded. Okay. Alright. I think I'm good. Yeah, that's fine. What the fuck is exploding all the time? Fix it, so the UK keyboards have symbols swapped around compared to the US. Yeah, yeah, I mean, most to be... F what the fuck? There's a lot of things crashing in here. There's a lot of different keyboard types, even across Europe, which I find a bit strange, honestly. Wait, is that not my ship? Whose ship is this? What the f Can I get in? No. Oh, hello. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um... In that the ship went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Fellas will barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news is, um, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north. The ruins on the... E Ecuador to find a way down. Are we sure? Can we read something maybe? Yeah, that, that looks actually broken. If you think about the fact that like um, Spanish, Italian, French language, they all come from Latin, right? Uh, I wonder why French keyboards are different from 
Italian keyboards, for example. But they are different. Okay, so... How do we, uh, how do we approach this one? Oh my god, what? I dare, I don't think I should be going in there. Good lord. Ow. Fuck. What do I care about my freaking ship? The sun is gonna blow up in a minute anyway. Uh, unidentified signal nearby. My ship is rolling, that's fine. Yo, what? Tower shot. Ah! Tower shot. This is like the one that disappears back home, right? How's the sun, by the way? Probably not good. Too close. Thatch. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this a typical shard of rock is the reason the objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, a friend of Wandering Moon at the Wonder No, so, sorry, what? Our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal in this shard. So, oh, I cannot read tonight. What is wrong with me? I've also heard the same signal this shard produces. Calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Heart, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. The only other object we observe displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon behavior and this groves are related. In a note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Could be. Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Right. I mean, it could be. Oh my Jesus Christ. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wands about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal. Even for this alien planet, and I never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnessed this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observation here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Plume is right, the tree do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as an unusual shot of rocks moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason too. It possesses color and texture I have never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, the rock shot presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing the nearby objects to also move about this area? Possibly. Okay, there was a way down. I saw it. How's the sun? It look it's looking pale. Oh boy. I don't know how long every cycle is, but I'm gonna guess it's about an hour. What the fuck is this? 
Oh, no, 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 no. I don't... Oh, that scares me. I don't know why, but, like... Space things, they scare me. Like, looking down there, it... What the hell? That's an event horizon, isn't it? Is that a black hole at the center of the planet? The planet is slowly collapsing into it, by the way. What the? Elevators, I guess. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. The Southern Observatory. Oh my god. This is so freaking spooky and creepy, but I kind of like it, but it kind of spooks me a lot. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Don't do that ever again. Jump in, you say? Are you mad? I'm gonna shit myself if I jump in there. Oh my god, I can see the planet from down. Oh, that's wrong. That is not right. What is this? Uh, what the f I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the other one first. <gasps> Jesus Christ. This game is gonna kill me. Am I going directly inside the black hole? Okay, no. But that's a... That, oh my god. I, I'm not joking, guys. My... Uh, uh, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like a... Uh, I feel something in the back of my head. Like, in my neck and my shoulders. It's giving me that... Oh, I, I can't. I can't look at that. Be welcome in this place. Above your stands, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Yes. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last, the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Hello. Sounds like a case of the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the quantum heebie-jeebies. The crossroads. That goes there and that goes inside there? What the frick? No. I don't know about that one. How do we get up there? Oh, easy. Oh shit. So that that is made of the same um, materials of that weird stone that changes gravity. So what I really need to do is to push this back over there so it's fixed and I can go in, I think. I don't know. Okay. That was not right. Ow. That was not right. Can I? No, I can't go there. There's no way that works. Okay, I mean, I'm about to die anyway, but... Three minutes of oxy...
ったピースのプランティーはフェルントゥブラックホール。What the shit? What? That is not right. Also, that's not how black holes work, I think. Uh, oxygen refilled? What? What the hell? Oh! Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you are the first. <laughs> This warp tower can return you to Brutal Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower warps can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during the alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotated, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directed overhead. Directly. Okay. That's fucked up. That's absolutely fucked up. Pick up the Ember Twin Projection Stone. Drop the Ember Twin. Wait, so, uh... What's this? It's one of those crystals. Oh, hang on. The sun is very red now. It's about to go freaking nuclear. Nope, it's the wrong one. I guess I have to take this to the twin planet, but like. Can I teleport to the sun? I teleported somewhere, that's for sure. But I don't have much time. Where am I? The f Where am I? I can't see any other planet. Where the hell am I? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? There's notes here. Fels for spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to slap across the planet if the ship if can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving it here. Check with my little scout. I do to use it. Home fest. You burn marshmallow and the scout's integrity reading said the piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, Why are you reading this note? I'm sure you've got bigger problems. I really do have bigger problems. You have no idea. The hanging city below. What the fuck is the, hang the hanging city? Oh well. Here goes the sun. It's gone. It's gone. The sun is gone. I don't know where I am. Insert. Projection stones. Oh, and I was about to do stuff. God damn it. This game is gonna be so complicated to. <laughs> to finish. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing.
And I'm also a little bit scared of clearly doing everything in this game. Alright. I think... I think this is gonna help me, probably. Southern Observatory. Mark location. Rebeck. Head to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Rebeck landed the ship near the big dome in the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north in the ruins. The search for a way beneath the surface. I think I've done that. I mean, I don't know what to do. Why are the green ones different? Are the green one done, technically? Then why decide to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on the Brittle Hall of South Pole? There's a door, but it's broken. Wait, gear option? Jump boost mode. Translator equip mode automatic. Translator enabled. Ship log enabled. Freeze time wasn't reading. Yeah, that that feels uh, fair. All right, where the hell do we go now? Let's go back to Brutal Hollow, I guess. So, did the guy say he was going to the North Pole? Which one is the North Pole? There's multiple things I see. Also, the planet looks really intact at the moment. But we... <gasps> we know it's gonna fuck. It's gonna uh, collapse into itself very soon, so... Alright, I think I'm good here. Am I good here? Can I just land somewhere, please? I think I can land. Did I break something? Maybe I broke a... What? No, hang on. Definitely broke the cockpit. Broke the autopilot. Anything else? No, we're good. Alright, so what's this? Okay. That is not a good sign already. Identify signal nearby. Okay. The hell is this now? Escape pod one. 
A distress beacon. What? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. At least. We have heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? Have we heard? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can... Touch? The moon is approaching again. You hate to hear that. Everyone brace yourselves, swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear to eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface. We will need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build the platforms? I mean... I don't know, you tell me. I need to get in there. <gasps> what the fuck just happened? I hate this planet. It's spooky. It's so freaking spooky. A freaking collapse collapsing planet. That's not ideal. Launching escape pod 3, escape pod 2, no launching escape pod 1. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Oh, this is like a ship log? Scanning external environment. Scanning complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. This planet? The game flight log. Escape pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. I just learned that there's a mobile game that's like a Tamagotchi, but you play the Zulka too. Yeah! I've seen it like a long time ago. It's not. An, uh, it's, it's a bit old, isn't it? <gasps> oh my god, no. No, this isn't right. I see the black. Fuck. Fuck. <gasps> the moment I hate this <laughs> this scares me so much I don't know why <sighs> oh. my jetpack is a very shit jetpack by the way I can't really fly with it <sighs> okay use caution a black hole sleeps below you must not slip yeah, thank you for that. Good lord. Good lord. Good lord. Good lord. Oh. Oh. oh my god. 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 I hate it. I'm immortal, but I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know why this scares me so much. No, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by the meteor impact. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Please. Please. Oh, 
Oh no no no! I I see what I have to do. Oh, that's not good. Given concern about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod, so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Tatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume. And eloquently made. If moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the Northern Glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Would it be need to cross again would shelter us from the volcanic moon? Yeah, that's a path, alright. Okay, I need to go. That's a big chunk of this place. That's another one. Oh my god, I'm gonna die soon. The fuck? Get, get that shit out of here. This knowledge is too dear to lose. It is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Jesus, what? Older than the universe, that's not possible. This place is really big, by the way. Oh god, it's going deeper down. I don't want to go down. What is this? More crystals? Some oxygen, actually. I think I needed that. Um, I don't know. I think this is a dead end. But I don't want to go down deeper down. I think I'm going to have to teleport the rocks. Oh, hey, that's really cool. Older than the universe? Hey, wait, that's not possible. <laughs> I mean, you know it is. How can something be older than time itself? the fuck happened? I fell. My brother wasn't in escape pod 1 with us. Was he in pod 2 or pod 3? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan greatest loss to be in vain. Um, how the fuck? I guess I have to go. Oh. <gasps> oh. The pain of our absence of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I would give anything not to know it, but anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek. Wherever you are. I mean, it depends where you, what you consider time to be. If it does have a beginning and an end, whether it's linear or not, then surely the beginning point is the beginning of the universe. And if there was something before the beginning of the universe, Then that should be the starting point. What is this? 
Oh, is that the eye? Signal. The bramble thing got the... What the fuck? And so that's the escape pod. So do you think in the middle of the bramble planet is where we find the mothership? Look, there's a ship in the twin planets. There's a ship there and there's a ship up here. Okay. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash that place? We warp to follow the curious signal from the eye of the universe. Well, we arrived was wrong. It wasn't there. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid our friend for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No. Anon and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation system were both well. Surface integrity 50%. Where do we go from here? Oh, I think I'm fucked. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Can I climb all the way? Oh shit. I don't think so. We can never pursue more than three dimensions. I don't think we are quite equipped to make deduction about the universe's origin. I mean, we don't know enough about time and the construct of time. That's a problem. Shit. I think I'm going where I want to be. Except I don't really want to go there, but kind of have to now. All right, guys, get ready. I'm going to have a, a really tough time with this one. Uh, oh, we lost one. Oh, I think I'm fucked. Don't look. Don't look. Do not look. Three minutes of oxygen. Uh, we're not good, actually. Fuck. Okay. 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 I think I don't have a long time. Oh! What the fuck? Hello? Bunch of dead people here. There's no time, only space time, which makes it well easy to understand. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. Scientific theories are gonna be. Never changing. What the fuck just happened? Oh, that's uh. What's gonna get you first? The sun, the black hole, the oxygen? Well, the answer was the ghosts.
<laughs> I mean, of all the things. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay, well. Shit. Shit. You know what? Screw that planet. I can't go to Giant Sleep now. Hopefully it's less scary than the other. Put your suit on? Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't <gasps> oh! Okay. It's definitely not less scary. That is not less scary whatsoever. What the fuck is this planet? Why is space so freaking terrifying all the time? Hey, did I find the guy already? Yo! Gabro! <laughs> what up, my man? Nice! It's you! Good to see you made it in here, made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Yeah. So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Oh, you're experiencing it too? What about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually, unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. Ah, <laughs> you're taking this pretty well. Heh, <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean... I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. How would you know? It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried raiding Hornfells and asking if they died too, but I thought it was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember to buy the next one. They, didn't, they don't realize anything is different. And this is another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to the big stone Nomai statue I found on well, the other island. Oh, wait, wasn't he the one that found the um, the big statues that we also see saw? I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. I replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. Yeah, that happened with me too. Statues, museum, that one. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with it. With why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues of the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage. Kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space reading you? I hate space. Minus the one time you killed yourself before the museum. I mean, maybe I already, I was already in the time loop, I just didn't know. Maybe it wasn't the first time I actually looked at the statue, you know? What's up with this planet? Just cute to find the only game over screen in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, we got credits, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. It's a skill at this point. So what's up with this planet? I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell you more about it? I gotcha. A giant's deep is massive, almost water. Mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current of waves beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. 
Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past the current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue saw on the beach. You seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They toss up everything in their path, and island included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. That's likely to kill you. Okay. Where should I explore? It's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening up in the orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. See, because it. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I'm getting really tired. Um, seeing that it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on the Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I did. I saw the 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? On the Gabra relaxation scale? Okay. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Mostly connected anyway, you'll see. I suppose in a game with time loops starting from a specific interaction, they have to make real abundantly clear when you just generally fucked up. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it was clear to me that I fucked up, that's for sure. What are you doing here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? Just kidding. I want exploring, same as you. But I tell you what, other space really gives you room to think, yeah. It's quiet and peaceful out here, it's fucked up. There's black holes and meteors and plants collapsing on themselves and the sun exploding. Fuck space, man. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then it's less peaceful. Jesus Christ. What you got for me? Never mind. I haven't found anything for Gabor. Okay. Wow, this is moving fast. And also, that's the signal. Danger. Ghost matter detected nearby. How do I? Well, the entire thing is actually ghost matter, right? So I can't go there. Just hang on. Okay. So um there's a signal nearby. Harmonic convergence. What the fuck? Are they all playing the same freaking tune at the same time? That's weird. Something else up here? No, no, no! <laughs> Don't. I really don't like this. Please let me find an island. How big is that cyclone, by the way? 
That looks big. Also, what the fuck is that? That's a ship. Okay, this is uh, not spooky at all. Considering you got a device to track them by the tune, it's not really for first. Well, yeah, but like... They are on completely different planets, and... The harmonica guy is supposed to be disappeared and dead, so... It's a bit weird, yeah, they're all playing together. Please. Help. I need, I need. Help. Hold on. Help. Help. How do I leave? Help. I hate this. I hate this. Save me. Please, save me. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this game is gonna kill me. This game is absolutely gonna fucking kill me. Um, are we getting picked up by a fucking store? Okay. with us scared out of this. I don't know why, because I cannot honestly tell you why. But this is so unsettling. This is just... Oh. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. <laughs> Falling and water fears. Yeah. <laughs> Killed by falling in water. So, what happened here? Something exploded off this planet and went somewhere, but I don't know where. I swear to god, if I land in a tornado, I'm gonna be mad. I am right next to it. Good lord. Am I good? 
I'm good. Alright. Uh huh. Yes. Sava, this is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around the giant's leap for assembly. Oh, that broken thing up there? Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope. But I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. If I know my brother, Avins, and his pals will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon will break under the strain. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If a member half a skew is Mallow and Avins behave together, Taz, you may launch me from the orbital cannon. I propose we give Avins and Malos a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. What are they doing with the orbital cannon though? What were they shooting? Did they find the eye and were and were they shooting like a probe in the eye? What the Nope. 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 Nope nope nope. Oh I'm gonna have to. Oh, I think I'm going to have to do this. Fine. Oh, what the shit, man. Oh, what the fuck? What the... Control module. I have bad news, Evans. Yaros says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They are certain they can fix the problems, so the orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet, Privet, Private, Privet, and Mallow they should return from cannon. My spouse and I will remain in the construction yard for now. And up to it, Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Three minutes and thirty-nine seconds ago, long range probe successfully launch. Oh wait. So the explosion is the probe? <gasps> oh. What the fuck was that? Oh shit, what the frick am I? Oh boy, I'm dead. Hang on, we need to immediately look up and see what happens to the probe. Okay, there's the probe cannon shooting the probe. Where's it going? Shit, 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 shit. 
I can see it. I can see it. Quick, 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 very quick. I think that's too fast for me. Oh, it's out of the solar system? It's not allowing me to go there. Abort autopilot. Keep going. Sure, it will. I just need to catch up with it, which I think I kind of am. Am I though? I mean, I can barely see it anymore. Wait, is it getting closer? I don't know, I can kind of see a detail. Oh, it's getting... It's gone. It's actually gone. Shit. I don't think it's... I don't think you can catch it. Can you? Maybe there's a way to stop the cannon? I went a long way away from my solar system, by the way. going for a while, I guess. Jesus. We made it really far. Can we not, like, um, get out of the solar system when it explodes? You know? How big is the explosion of a supernova? Could I just shoot off and space yourself? I guess I could. Very big, yeah. Yeah, 
guess it is very big. Wait, am I? Am I crashing into the sun? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why is there no achievement for crushing into the sun? <gasps> you could really save time with just pacing yourself. Yeah. True. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's it for me for tonight. But man, what a game. It's such a cool game. It's an insanely unique concept. I mean, maybe not unique, but... I haven't played anything like this, for sure. I want to see if I can ask people about the time loop. No. Hmm, weird. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this, aside from, you know, uh, the fact that I think this is a scary as hell game. And I don't know why, I'm just... Terribly afraid of like cosmic events and like enormous um I don't know stuff like earthquakes and volcanoes exploding and like tsunamis like they they terrify me because I I feel like nature has a the kind of force that you cannot stop whatever you do. So it makes me feel very, very tiny in the grand scheme of things. More than anything else. And I don't know, yeah, I am terrified with this game. <laughs> but there is a mystery to be uh, discovered. And by God, we will find out what the hell is going on with this. What the... Yo, that's a lot of new stuff, huh? I don't know. I wish I had a legend. Like, what does it mean if it's red or green? Or orange or purple? Is it just different types? Does it mean that there's more to be found? Does it mean like I have solved that specific uh, entry? I don't know. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today. So um, I'm going to come back tomorrow, hopefully. Weather should be holding fine. So yeah. And if not, the AC is still working. So not a problem. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to sleep because I'm really, really tired. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I will uh, see you soon, I guess. All right. And let me know if you get, if you have any idea for, like, challenges to do for the 12-hour stream. Just in case. Just in case. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.